right, uh, next to me to come to the stage. Uh, you guys ready? There we go. Okay, this guy, really, really funny guy, newer comedian around San Diego, uh, also practices a lot here in San Diego. Big round of applause for Joe Samo! That's R. Kelly. <laughs> I had to pay extra for R. Kelly. Remix to Ignition. Get in <laughs> Don't get too excited because I suck at comedy. <laughs> All my friends that have come to see me, they say, Damn, Joe Samo, you suck. <laughs> Don't quit your day job. But the problem is I suck at my day job too. <laughs> but I got some good news. The tickets tonight were gonna be $50, but because I got on, they reduced it. <laughs> Everyone owes me 30 bucks. That's how I plan to make money. You know, and by the way, if you guys have to go to the bathroom, this is a good time, you're not gonna miss anything funny. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> and you know, I, uh, I just got used to it as a lawyer. I always take a notebook with me and write everything down, no matter what, everywhere I go. Right, fellow lawyer, right? You always have to have a notebook. <laughs> In case you're wondering, yes, even in sex. In, out, in, out. Pay $600. It drives my wife crazy, because one time, you know, when we got married, she's like, are you ever gonna cheat on me? I looked in her eyes, I said, sweetheart, can you define cheating? And uh, no, but lawyers, I mean, I can see why people hate lawyers. Uh, we're, we're, we are kind of a-holes. Like, uh, I'll give you an example. I got, uh, there's my buddy Steve, he's a personal injury lawyer. <laughs> uh, you know how like you get excited if you see like a Ferrari on the street? This guy gets excited if he sees an ambulance. <laughs> One time he came up to us and he goes, guys, guys, I have good news and I got bad news. And we're like, okay. He's like, good news. My cousin got in a really, really big car crash. And we're like, yes. Then he goes, bad news, he's okay. <laughs> we're like, sorry to hear that. <laughs> we had to bring him here to like soften the, the blow. <laughs> and then uh, for work, I had to go to Arizona last week. Do we have uh, any Arizonans? I can see why they're back here. <laughs> Arizona is crazy. It's like, imagine the city of Santee becoming a state. <laughs> right? And then I saw all these people in Arizona with these like Confederate flags. And I wanted to tell them, I wanted to say, bro, uh, Arizona was not part of the Confederacy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, then I realized, like, oh my God, God has a good sense of humor. God has a good sense of humor because he put Arizona right next to Mexico. And, uh, which is good. I actually, I love Mexicans. Any Mexicans here tonight? Couple? I love Mexicans. I have a very good friend. His name is Fernando. And uh, he's such a sweetheart. He tells me, oh man, Joe Samo, mi casa, su casa, which means my house is your house. And he's such a sweetheart. Well, right when he told me that, the next day I went to the bank, I tried to take a line of credit out. <laughs> Fernando was so upset at me <laughs> when I tried that. I'm like, come on, dude, you said mi casa, su casa. Like, what's next? I have to stop banging your wife, too? <laughs> Oh, it's Mikasa Sukasa crap. I learned later, it's like, I think Mikasa Suka just means like, come over for tamales. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't they just change it to free tamales? That's it. <laughs> That's all we get from Mikasa Sukasa, you know? <laughs> right? <laughs> anyway. So, I gotta say though, Mexico, I think like, like having sex with a Mexican has got to be way better than an American. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Here's what. Okay. Bear with me. An American is like, oh, Angela Williams. Uh, go 
But with Mexican, you know, they have a lot of names. You'd be like, oh, Maria Sanchez Espinosa de Montana, they know, like, it's so weird. <laughs> That's way better. Come on, come on. The people that are not laughing agree with you. Right? You ever, anyone here, like, watch TV, you know, and you see someone really hot on TV and you wish your spouse was that hot, right? Because my wife does. <laughs> She's like super pissed because I have a beer belly. I don't even drink. <laughs> I have athlete's foot and I'm not an athlete. I thought I'd be nice. I'm like, you know, when I die, I'm gonna donate my body to science. And then science called me. They said, no thanks. We are just good. And then uh, I went out and I got a personal trainer. Uh, apparently he's the worst personal trainer. <laughs> I told him, I said, I wanna look like Brad Pitt. He goes, in one year, you're gonna look like Brad Pitt. This is like four years ago. Right? It turns out there's a guy from his high school named Brad Pitt who's fat and bald. I'm like, no, the actor Brad Pitt, the actor Brad Pitt, not your fat, bald friend, dude. And then I was so confused. I uh, did that 23andMe, the gene study. Anyone do that? So I did it. And then I got my results back. It turns out like I'm a little black. Which means I can do black jokes now. So that's <laughs> However, you guys might relate. My wife's family hates me now. <laughs> the fuck? I take a knee when they come over now. My house. <laughs> well, fuck it. Fuck the cops. Another thing, another thing that uh, really annoys me, you ever get those like telephone scam calls at work? Yeah. Like, you don't fucking pay me, or kill you, or get you, you're gonna be arrested, you motherfucker, you gotta pay us, right? I get those all the time, and then I said, fuck this, I block my wife from calling me. <laughs> Play R. Kelly. <laughs> By the way, there's a reason why Okay, we have mic problems. <laughs> it's kind of my fault. You know, I did my, uh, I took a class here a long time ago. I know what you're thinking. You're like, wow, oh, that was a waste of money. <laughs> so, but the, the instructor was like, hey, make sure the microphone, like, hold it right up to your mouth. And he goes, huh, pretend it's a dick, Joe Sam. I'm going to put it right up to your mouth. And I'm like, oh, that's right. Okay, I'll pretend it's a dick. So then I shoved it up my butt. Now we have mic problems every now and then. <laughs> yep. Yes, okay. Um, my, uh, my wife is from Detroit, Michigan. Any Detroiters in there that can represent? Yeah, we, uh, yeah, she's from Detroit. We were thinking about like buying a house. We started looking at houses in San Diego. And we realized we got a choice. We could buy a house in San Diego. Or we could buy all of Detroit. <laughs> right? <laughs> all of Detroit. <laughs> you never, remember that migrant caravan about a month ago? You know, they weren't going to Detroit. <laughs> That's perfect. We don't need a wall. We could just like, next time that happens, if that happens again, we could just like go to the migrant caravan and be like, okay guys, we're gonna send all of you to Detroit. You're like, fuck that. <laughs> We're going back to Honduras. <laughs> oh, is that the time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, what was it, about a month ago, uh, that New England Patriots owner, Bob Kraft, got busted? You guys heard about this? Bob Kraft got busted. He went to a massage parlor and he got like a happy ending to the hand dog. Then he got busted. When I read about that, I got so pissed off. Because I was like, wait a minute, you can go to a massage and get a massage? <laughs> like, you can go to a massage parlor and just get a massage? I didn't know that. <laughs> Me growing up, it was a little different. I, now, I, now I know why it's all happy ending, because there's something that's supposed to happen before it. 
Uh, and then, let's see. In, a, in my world as a divorce lawyer, I do happen to come across like very, very funny stuff every now and then. One time, uh, I had a gal who was freaking crazy. Like she was just crazy, crazy. She'd throw things, yell, scream, everything. She was just crazy. And uh, her husband, who was my client, was like, Oh, Joseph, oh, she left me for getting divorced. She has another guy. Oh, she left me for another guy. What do I do? I said, listen, this is the deal. We call that guy and say, thank you. <laughs> Let's just pay him child support. <laughs> I think that's uh, getting close to my time, but um, well, I, I'm really glad everyone's here tonight having a good time. Um, I do got some good news after me. We got some good comedians. You know, we're going to return to funny stuff after me. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, folks. That's my time. Thank you so much.